Hello, my name is Jamie. I'm a consultant with Encryption Consulting, and today I'm going to be using GitLab to sign files in a CI-CD pipeline using Code Sign Secure. To get started, the first step we need to do is navigate to Settings and set up a runner. We'll go to Settings and CI-CD. and expand runners. We're going to create a new project runner and set our operating system to the operating system we're using, which in my case is Windows. We're going to set the tags for the jobs the runner is meant to run. And we're going to create this runner. We're going to need to copy this runner authentication token so that we can register the runner later. Next, let's go to the GitLab documentation and install the binary for our runner. Once our install is finished, we're going to put our GitLab runner in a folder named GitLab runner on the C drive. We're going to launch command prompt. Next, we're going to register our runner. We'll need to enter the address that our GitLab project is hosted at, which in our case is HTTPS, HTTPS at GitLab.com. We're going to set our executor to shell. And that will generate the configuration files needed for GitLab Runner to work. With our configuration in place, we can now install the GitLab Runner using the following command. Once we've installed our GitLab runner, we're going to navigate to our services. We can do this by opening Task Manager and going to Services, and then Open Services. Here we can find our GitLab runner. We're going to need to modify its properties and configure its logon so that it will log on to your admin administrator account that you are running this from. Once you've supplied the correct password for the account, you will need to restart the service. Simply right click on the service and hit restart. Let's configure our pipeline in the pipeline editor. You can find this on the GitLab website under Build and Pipeline Editor. We've written a pipeline that is very straightforward. We have our tags, which is the tag for the runner to find this job. We have our client authentication certificate, which will be the same client authentication certificate you set up when setting up CodeSign Secure. Finally, we have a script that runs sign tool. We are signing using the encryption consulting key storage provider, the certificate EV code signing, and this PEM file. We're timestamping using Digicert, and the file we're signing is agentservice.exe. Let's run our pipeline and see if it works.
As you can see, our pipeline has successfully passed.